This week on Built to Roam, we're tackling phase one of our newest project, a multi-month build centered around this yellow sprinter coined the Battle Wagon. We'll be transforming this yellow sprinter from a glorified DHL truck into the craziest van build we've ever taken on. You might recognize our friend and new client, John Patton, from his YouTube channel, The Gun Collective, and his newest channel, The Battle Wagon, where he'll also be documenting this build process and other van life videos. So stay tuned and let's get into this install. Our first step, taping up the front end to protect the exposed body and headlights from when we remove the bumper and start cutting. The first step for getting the CA tune bumper installed is we went ahead and pulled off the factory bumper cover. I always have to disconnect all the clips around there and the fog lights and a few sensors in the bumper, uh, but that comes off in about five minutes. Um, so we got that all off. We got the crash bar off. What's that? That's an Iowa grasshopper right there. Oh. So now we're gonna start kind of getting into the main part of the build. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the portion that needs to be removed in order to get the Cali tune bumper on. Uh, probably safety wise would be a good idea. If not, you could give the old vice grip garage safety squints. <laughs> <laughs> Works out well, but we've got them, so we'll use them. Alright, here we go. With both frame rails now matching, we can test fit the CA tune bumper to make sure all the mounting points line up correctly. Uh, indicators. So I'm down here with Pat. Um, on the 3500 Sprinters, Mercedes does not drill out this side uh, mount for where the bumper is supposed to mount into the frame. Um, so we're going to have to drill that out. But on this side, there is actually a decent amount of room. Uh, we were able to move the vacuum canister kind of out of the way pretty easily. Uh, but here on the passenger side, we have this nice big def tank. And, uh, John was nice enough to fill it up uh, pretty recently, so it's now it's almost nice. all the way. Yeah, so it's it's pretty filled up to the brim. And um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to move this so that we can get access to drill out and put a nut cert into the frame here on the side. So, so we did the initial test fit on the CA tune bumper. Uh, a few of the holes needed wallowed out a little bit just because of the variation from Mercedes. Uh, the front kind of spacing of the mounting holes is always slightly different, uh, which is pretty common with these bumpers. So we massage those, uh, touch them up with some paint so we're not going to worry about any rusting down the road. And then we finally just got this bolted up and tight and kind of fits perfect. But with nothing for a nut and bolt to grab onto, how will these mounts work? We've got the perfect solution. And basically you see the collar in here is going to crush down and form basically what a rivet does basically. It's going to crush down around the sheet okay. metal and hold it in place. So now you have a, an anchor point. All right, and he said that we can burn this one. I asked permission, guys. Don't get mad. All right, let's see it. Look at that. So it's going to crush it down, and your metal is going to end up in between these two ridges. So you're sandwiching the metal in there, and Correct. that way you have some threads to anchor into, like that hole right there, and on the opposite side for this particular use. Yeah. With the rib nuts now securing the bumper in place, it's time to mount the winch. So this is Warren's VR12S. We pretty much only install winches that come with synthetic line. Okay. It's, it's much safer, it's lighter weight. So the 12 means it's rated for 12,000 um, pounds. You kind of want to upscale. However much your truck weighs, you definitely want to go above that a little bit. Um, so we were talking, when this thing's fully built out, we're kind of guessing it's going to be in the nine to 10,000 pound range. Yeah, the um, GVWR on that van is just over 11,000 pounds. Yeah, so um, we want to scale up a little bit. So the 12 is what we're pretty much doing in all of the Sprinter vans. Um, definitely have enough pulling power to get this thing uh, unstuck. With the winch in place, we now had to find the proper ground location. We picked an open area on the side of the engine bay. And while the techs do important work, we can do the easy stuff. We can do the easy stuff, like uh, taking the factory horn off and putting the new horn on. So Joe's removing whatever you would call this, which ain't much for a vehicle this size. 
and we're going to be putting a proper horn on here so this big yellow band will be heard. Yeah, when this thing's gonna be fully built out, it's gonna be a big, big heavy rig, and we're definitely want you to be able to hear the horn because these factory horns are pretty, pretty atrocious. Honestly, I'm pretty excited about that because the factory horn is so, so anemic, and this is not a super expensive upgrade. Boom, give it a couple ooga doogas. And then all we gotta do is take the harness that's provided and connect it with the factory harness as such. And then lock her in with the little gray tab that we had to pull out. And then find a way to tuck this nonsense somewhere. Pat is gonna help us with, what'd you call it? The Adele clamp? That's what I've known them as. That's All right. what I was told they were. <laughs> Rolling in the deep. Our horn install being complete means we can get the body saw out and start cutting into the factory bumper. And they give you this template. It's uh, basically just a guideline, nothing too crazy. So sort of set yeah. it up, cut here, remove all this, remove all that. Then there's still some more additional cutting you got to do up and in this section to uh, get the clearance we need for the uh, Warren winch. Uh, just finished up our cut and cleaning the edges up. Razor blade and uh, a little bit of sanding goes a long way there to make it look clean. This is where we ended up and we're getting ready to fit it on the car and see how it goes. Another crucial step is relocating the factory radar sensor to the front of our new CA tuned bumper. And with that, we've got just a few more finishing touches. Last piece of the puzzle, snapping a grill back in. All right. So this is something that was actually pretty cool. I, when I reached out to Cali Tune, I said, hey Max, do you have yellow shackles? And he said, dude, we don't sell them anymore. We have the orange and the gray, but we don't have any yellow. He said, you know what? Give me a second. I think I might still have some. There we go. So we have to just button her up a little bit. That's a wrap on phase one of the battle wagon build. The CA tune bumper and yellow shackles really bring the front of this van to life and offer great protection, winching, and recovery points. Be sure to stay tuned for round two when this van returns for new lighting solutions never before seen in the USA.